Welcome back everybody to the Art to Nose video series of how to create a server with Art to Nose. Now in today's video, we're going to be learning how to change the IP and also how to do plugins. Stay tuned! Welcome back everybody to the Art to Nose video series and today let's just get started with today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to change the IP and the plugins. Now before watching this video, um, make sure you go watch the previous how to create a server with Art to Nose video. It will show you how to actually start up your server, how to set everything up. So in the last episode we did all that, we uh, I showed you how to set everything up so that way everything's good to go. And so yeah, so... I'm here to show you how to change the IP and the plugins. Now let's just start with the IP. And um, yeah, before we get into it, make sure you guys smash the like button. Let's drink, let's see if we get up to three likes. Then I'll try and post the next episode of how to create a server with Artados um, next Monday instead of next uh, Wednesday. If it, if this gets up to three likes, then I'll post the next episode next Monday instead of next Wednesday. So three likes then I'll post it on Monday but anyway so let's just get started so um as you can see uh, we're just gonna start with the IP right now now um I never really actually wanted to do the IP but I think it's a good idea if uh, if you want to change the IP now you gotta be wise about this cause whatever uh, whatever you have to change the IP to you wanna change the IP to it has to be a name where no one else has thought of it so for example you could just call BB craft you know and uh, sometimes yeah see this IP already exists so you don't really need to mess with that you can just leave it how the way it is but you do have to be wise with it because once you change this and if you want to change it back to this you cannot so make sure you be wise and make sure you think of a name that no one else has thought of it before now that's the IP it's very short but uh, if you guys wanted to change it then that was the tutorial for you now we're gonna get on to plugins now before we jump into the plugins um you're probably wondering what is plugins they're basically like add-ons for your server so basically you can have like a decoration plugin a mini game plugin so basically everything so basically it's like an add-on to help your server and stuff like that and uh, we're not gonna go off like some like plugins are fun to make and uh, oh yeah don't worry about these ads guys um, if you do see an X like this you guys can just click it and you guys can go with uh, you know ad choices and never mind but you guys don't have to mess with the ads don't do anything about them just ignore them if they don't have an X on them um, but anyway uh, so I'm just gonna delete this plugin so if you do see this you can delete it if you want to alright so it's gonna take a little minute for it to delete so it usually takes like two seconds for it to delete and now I'm gonna show you the plugins you should I recommend you get before you jump into any minigame plugins or something like that so the first plugin I recommend is world edit it really what what world edit is it helps you build like structures like towers and stuff like that I suggest you do get that also you can get um NSI a world edit which means uh, the chunks will lo uh, load like one block at a time but uh, we're just gonna go with world edit for now so and uh, that and you I suggest you put it on the latest version but if you don't have 1.12 then look for a version that is suitable suitable for you if it's on different versions for example like if you're on 1.11.2 then you should download this one not this one this will actually will work but I suggest you download this one if you're on a different version but you don't have to also if you want to search for like a Pacific plugin then go up here it will pop up this little box and then what you're gonna do you can just type in any plugin you want Okay, so the next plugin I recommend is Empty World Generator. So, so for example, if you have like mini games that uh, involve void, like Sky Wars or Bed Wars, I suggest you download this plugin if you have like if you have a mini game called like Sky Wars or Bed Wars. All right, the next plugin I recommend is um, Multiverse Core. Now, you do need Multiverse Core to run Empty World Generator. So, what you gotta do is that you, you can go for Multiverse Core. So, what this is, what plugin this uh, does, is that you can actually leave the description. Uh, there'll be like every uh, plugin will have a link to their website, um, to the bucket or spigot page, and um, 
basically what multiverse is, it's basically you can have multiple worlds. So let's say if you want like a Sky Wars, like a Pacific Sky Wars world, you don't want to have all the mini games in one single world. You guys can all have them in one world. And I suggest you get multiverse core because if you get this, uh, you'll be able to run empty world generator. And also I suggest you get, um, you, you can, you don't have to, but I suggest if you love portals, like you want any, everyone to teleport through a portal, then I suggest you download multiverse portals. It's really cool. It's really, um, cool because you can actually create your very own portals, any shape, any size. And, uh, yeah, it's really cool. All right. Anyway, guys, I think that's all the plugins we have for today. Um, I, I uh, don't know anymore, but if you're done, then just p click the X, I just saw you, I saw you that, so, if you're done with all your plugins, then you could go for X, so, these are all the plugins we need so far, you don't really, if you want to download a few more plugins, and you know that's going to decorate and stuff like that, we're going to go with the na main ones, these are the ones that will help you out with your server, so yeah, that's pretty much how to actually download plugins, now, um, how to actually make them work is that you gotta start up your server now. Um, we're not gonna do that in this episode, but I will do it in the next episode. So, this is a very short episode, but th I showed you how to create and get plugins and how to change the IP. If you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you guys leave a like on the video. I'm sorry, it's actually a very short episode. But in the next episode, I'll show you how to start up the plugins, how to make them work, and, and then maybe I'll show you how to actually update your server, how to make like a server hub and stuff like that. But thank you everybody for watching this episode of how to create a server with Artinos. I'll see you guys in the next episode or our next video. Lex on!